The other really interesting thing that you can do is the platform can be used for you to create your own content as well. So for example, if you have a discussion you want to start off or you have any assignments you want to set for students and have them turn it in using the platform, you've got that flexibility using your educator account. The way to do that would be to go here to courses. You would then create a new course. And for the test purposes, I've created the dummy course over here. Once you've put in a, you know, a description, a thumbnail, you can then start adding content. So you could add any file here, which could be a video prompt, a text prompt, something you want students to review or have as a resource before they start answering questions. And then you go to create. And you can create different types of assessments over here. It could be an assessment where you get them to have multiple choice questions. It could be a survey that you want to conduct with the students. Um, it could be a live session. So you could even use this to schedule a live session or webinar with all of your students at a given point in time. The other one that's really interesting is if you do have other websites you want to link to, so perhaps a YouTube video or something you found in um, an external website, if you link content over here, um, it will not redirect a student to an external website, but instead play it within this learning environment. So the students never leave this environment. The other one is a learner upload. So you can have learners upload original pieces of work. So this could be a video, it could be a podcast, it could be a written assignment. And that then becomes available for you to review and grade. So feel free to play with this because you've got a lot of flexibility to use this platform for building more digital resources and digital assessments for your students. And you can, of course, decide who to assign them to, what teams to assign these things to. You've got a notice board over here. So you can add a note, you know, keep up with any changes to deadlines, any, any instructions. There's a references section where you can add in additional references or resources for students to have access to. And then finally, you've got multiple different settings over here where you could even automatically have the course go inactive at a certain time. So if you want to set a deadline and it's a hard deadline, you can auto deactivate the course at a certain point in time. You can choose to send them automatic reminders. Um, you can have discussion forums. You can have certificates, which will be automatically administered to students if they've done well. And then these are boosts. So for example, if you set up an MCQ test for students with 20 questions, and what you can do if you select boost is it will automatically choose maybe five of those questions. And at your chosen frequency, challenge the students to try those questions again, essentially just checking to see if they still remember what you taught them a while ago.